Welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat, and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Welcome to the Leadership Library. I'm your host, Rocky Romanella, and we're going to continue on in our series on our Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. One of my favorite bands, the Rolling Stones, great song. You can't always get what you want. Boy, how many times have we thought to ourselves, boy, if we can only get what we want, right? It's a great song by the Rolling Stones. I always thought it spoke to the personal development frustration we all have at times. We can often see in our people their frustration as, as they're looking for us to help them and guide them, right, and help them get what they want, whether it's uh, a career development move, whether it's more knowledge or understanding, whether it's personal development inside the role they currently have. But that song, to me, was such a – touched me in so many different ways and jogged me with so many different thoughts. You can't always get what you want. So for me, I always talk about the personal development plan. And you can get what you want if you put together that personal development plan. That first step in the personal development plan should be doing your own SWOT analysis. And we've talked about this in previous uh, episodes. You know, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are your opportunities? And what are some of your barriers for growth so you can get what you want? That song says you can't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you need. And sometimes we have to go get those things that we need. And you may find out that you have some of the things that you need. So go out there and try to get the things that you need and work with the people in your organization to get there. But first step is you have to clearly understand yourself and do that SWOT analysis that we talked about. What are your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and what are some of your barriers for growth? And think about some of those key areas, communication skills, accountability skills, coaching skills, handling difficult conversations, or all those areas of strength that you need to work on. Step two then would be to put together that action plan. Okay, I've identified this as an area of opportunity for me to grow and develop. Here's here's one of my strengths. I'm going to play to that core strength of mine, but I'm not going to overplay to that core strength. Then you then you can review your action plan with your manager and revisit it as often as you, as you need to. But keep keep that action plan there as your roadmap of how you're going to grow and develop, how you're going to get the things that you need. And finally, you get what you need when you're the architect of your own destiny. When you're that person that's driving the results that you need to get for yourself. No one should impact you more than you impact yourself. So great lyrics, great song, but I love it. I love it, you know, that whole line there. When you just find out you get what you need, right? So I think that if you can just take those lyrics and think about them and think about how they can motivate you to be the best that you can be by putting together an action plan, and then I think you'll find out you, you can't always get what you want, but if you try sometime, you might just find you get what you need. I hope you enjoy our Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Leadership Library. We have a few more episodes to come, but there's many songs out there that you listen to that the lyrics can really help identify areas, have some fun with them, be a, a training tool, right? We talked about don't let the pigeon drive the bus. We have an episode talking about that. If you think about it, some of the greatest lessons you get will come from some of the songs that you hear and the lyrics that are in those songs or the books that you read or the movies that you see. How about that great line in Jerry Maguire? Help me help you. Great line, right? How many times you do, you're looking at your people and you're just looking at them and you're trying to get them, please help me help you. Some, there's some great lines out there. Thanks for joining us at the Leadership Library. And until our next episode, thank, thank you. And remember, you can't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you need.
Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Leadership Library, a bi-weekly podcast designed to help you find your leadership aha moment. To access Rocky Romanella for consulting, keynote speaking, or training your business, head to tightenthelugnuts.com. You can also head to tightenthelugnuts.com and click the link for Leadership Library to see this episode or every episode recorded by Rocky Romanella in the Leadership Library. And until next episode, remember, the speed of the leader determines the pace of the pack.